So I have been eyeing the Laura Star irons for quite a while now, and I know they're a little bit of an investment, but today is the day. They have a few different kinds. I'll be talking about that later. I have the Titan. I'm gonna unbox it with you and we're gonna take a look at this amazing iron. We're gonna put it to the test and see if it's really worth all of the hype. But I kind of already know it is because I've done my research. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the Laura Star Titan. All right, so we have a instruction manual. We've got the faceplate. This reduces the temperature of the iron by, I think it's at 100 degrees, so this is super handy. The one I got is an aluminum, and it just snaps right onto your iron. I'll show you that in a minute, but it does reduce the temperature if you're working on fabric that is, what's the word? Delicate. I also have a little cord holder. This is going to clamp on to my ironing board over there, and hold my cord up so it stays out of my way. Hello. Ooh. This is very well packed, I might add. We also have an anti-scale cartridge. It also comes in this lovely travel bag, which is really nice if you're going to take it somewhere or if you're just storing it out of the way so it doesn't get scratched. Look at this beautiful color. Here we go, let me get all the plastic off. All right, and here's everything that came with the iron, all of its little accessories. We've got our manual, we've got our cord holder, we've got our anti-scale cartridge, and we have our face plate, and then of course, the Laura Star. So it's all out of the box and ready to go. Our next step is to test it. But before I did that really quickly, I wanted to let you know which one I got. They do have three different models on their website and they each have differing capabilities. I have the Titan. This is their top of the line model. It has all of the bells and whistles and it also has a new feature which is one temperature. It's like the perfect temperature for all fabrics. And I think the reason that they did that is so that you get the perfect steam each time. It's actually very simple to use. I was pleasantly surprised when I got it, it's very easy to start using right away. So my Titan has an all aluminum 3D sole plate there you can see and the steam comes out of those little holes. And then the top is just super sleek and simple. There's only a few buttons on it so very hard to mess up. They've got the steam button there on the top and then right on the inside of the handle is the pulse on and off button. And as a quilter, I found the pulse button is actually probably one of my favorites. And then it also has this removable plate that you can put on your table or whatever you're ironing so that you can set your iron down while you're working and it protects the surface and then it stores neatly back in its case as well, which also means you can put the iron away when it's still hot. On the back side is your water tank and super easy to fill. I'll show you that in just a second. And you just fill it with regular tap water. And on the back side, there's this tiny little flap that you can lift up, unscrew, and then you can use that to drain your iron. And they do recommend that you clean out your iron once a month. And of course, it's portable. You can just pick it up and take it with you wherever you go. And one of the things I wasn't sure about the Titan was the color because a few of them I've seen make it look a little bit of a weird darker gray color. I wanted to make sure it was black and in person it really is like a matte black finish. So if you've seen pictures of it and it looks like a weird gray color, it's not, it's actually black. So if you're not sure about the color, I can tell you at least for this one, it is a nice matte black. It's a very pretty and the finish is absolutely beautiful. They have three different main versions of their steam irons on their website. The first one is the lift, which is the original and bottom kind of of the line. They have a lift plus, which is sort of a middle of the road. And then they have a lift extra, which is what I got. And mine is in the Titan colorway. They have all the information on the other irons on their website. So I'm gonna let you go over and check that out. They have different colors for all of them. The lift actually has some really fun colors. So I had a hard time deciding between functionality and color because you know I love everything in my room to be super cute. But in the end, I decided to go with the functionality of the lift extra and I went with black just because it's pretty nice and basic and in person, it's actually very, very pretty. So I'm glad I went with this one. All right, the next step is just to test this guy out and see what it can do. So to use your iron, it's very simple. You're just gonna remove your iron canister and if you'll notice, I opened the lid and then pulled up to remove it. You're also going to need to add your filter if this is your first time and you simply place the filter right on that little 
knob at the bottom, just make sure it's on there nice and good. And then to put it back, you're gonna open the lid just like I'm showing here and gently place it down and then close the lid. There's a little hole right here on the Laura Star and that little flap from the lid fits right into that hole. So as you can see here, when I have it closed properly, that little knob on my lid fits right in that hole. The next thing we're gonna do is fill it with just regular tap water. You do need to use regular tap water with this. The minerals inside the water help tell your Laura Star when it needs more water. It does have an auto off on it, so to turn it on, you just press the button once. If you would like to override that feature, you can just press and hold the button until the two buttons next to the switch light red, and that means you've overridden your auto off. On the top there is your steam button, so you'll just press that when you're ready to use it. And then on the inside there, you'll see that toggle switch for pulse or full steam. As a quilter, I found that the pulse actually works better for me, but you can test to see what you prefer. And then before I use it, I always press it a few times until I get a nice good steam coming out of my iron. That's gonna release any condensation that may have been built up while my iron was either cooling or not in use. And that's pretty much it, you're ready to go. One thing that I do recommend with this iron is that you use the pressing method and not the ironing method. So you're just gonna kind of lift and press. You also don't have to press very hard. You're gonna just have a nice light touch with this. The steam does all the work for you. The Kita Laura Star is a dry microfine steam. So if you've used any other steamers before, you know that they put out wet damp. So when you steam your fabric, it it ends up being wet and it just takes a minute to dry. The Laura Stars are actually a dry steam. So as soon as you're done steaming it, it's immediately dry. It's also hypoallergenic. So you can use it to clean those hard to clean things like curtains, couches, mattresses, pillows, all of that. You can run this steam over it and, and it just cleans all of those germs out of those products. So not only is it perfect for pressing fabric for quilting and sewing, but it's also great for garments and also your finer materials. You can use it to steam wool sweaters, angora, anything that's a delicate fabric like that, these Laura Star steamers are perfect for. Hey, so it's Erica from the future and I wanted to take some time and test out this iron and I guess it's not really an iron, it's like a steam iron um, and just try it on a couple different things just to see before I gave you my full review. So it's been a few weeks since I've gotten it. I've had a lot of time to play with it and try it out on different things. So one of the things that I do in my house is switch out my quilts all the time seasonally. So when I go get them out of the closet, bring them back out for their time to shine, they always have creases in them from being folded in my closet for so long. But I was wondering if the Laura Star could do that for me and save me some time. So I grabbed my, uh, this is Franny's Tree Farm, I grabbed this out of the closet just to test it out. And sure enough, I just press right over those seams using full steam and they like magically disappeared. So tip number one, use them for your quilts to get the creases out of your quilts. It was so fast and easy and now I can hang up this quilt and it won't look like it's been stored in a closet all year long. Tip number two, you can use this steamer to block your knit and crochet items. So I'm in the middle of working on this fun little crochet blanket and I have a ton of granny squares to make for it. And I thought, you know what? I wonder if I could use that to block my knit and crochet. And sure enough, it took about two seconds to block all of my little squares. I'm making a bunch of these little guys and I just for reference in this video, I'll show you one that's not blocked and one that is blocked. And I just pinned it out on my little board here, sprayed some steam on it. And because it's a dry steam, I didn't have to wait for that to dry overnight like I normally do. I do have a video on how to block your um, knit and crochet here on YouTube. And I did it with water and then you just let it sit overnight. And within about 24 hours, your knitwear or crochet items are dry and then you can move forward with whatever next steps you need. Since this is a dry steam, it took me about three seconds. I just steamed it really quickly and then I thought, I wonder if it's gonna have to sit there. I went ahead and just pulled out the pins really fast to see and it was already dry and blocked. And you can see the difference in it here as well. This one blocked, it took me about three seconds to steam block it with my Laura Star, and this is the one that is not blocked. The other thing you can use this for is your cross stitch pieces. So when I'm cross stitching, I crinkle all my fabric up in my hand so I can get to where I need. By the time I'm done working on my pieces, as you can see, they're usually pretty crinkled and folded up. And so usually what I will do is lay them face down, put a towel on top, and then just kind of delicately press through that towel. But I thought, you know what, I bet you can steam this and then you don't even have to really touch the fabric. I 
I just lay this down. I still do it face down just to be safe and then gently just run the steamer over. I'm not actually even really touching the fabric with the iron, but since it's just a dry seam, you actually can anyway and you don't have to worry about, you know, crunching up your little stitches or anything like that. So not only can I use it for quilting, I can use it for my delicate fabrics for my daughter who sews her own like prom dresses and things. You can use it to get creases out of your quilts. You can use it to press and block your knit and crochet wear. You can use it for your cross stitch. And then of course you can still use it for its sanitizing features on things like pillows and mattresses and curtains and anything that needs to be steamed. The other cool thing about quilting is that when you use normal steam from a regular iron, it's a wet steam. And so if you haven't pre-starched your fabrics, it can actually shrink your pieces and shrink your entire block trying to steam press it. Since this is a dry steam, you don't have any of that shrinkage happening. So you just use that dry steam on there, you get the steam flat press, but none of your fabric has shrunk at all. It's all still maintained its size and shape. And I didn't really have any distorting of my fabric either, which sometimes steam can cause. So it's been really cool. It was a little bit of a learning experience on how to use it because I realized that I was really more of an ironer than a presser. And I usually will take my iron and just run it right along that seam and press it all over different directions. And really it's better for the steamer if you don't even put that much pressure on it. You just steam it as you go down that uh, seam and then just drag it back slowly dry flat seam and I have to say I think overall I'm very excited about this at first it was a little bit like I don't know if it's much better I don't know if it's really doing what I want it to do it just took me two minutes to figure out actually how to use it properly and once I did that now I love it absolutely love it and I love that I can use it in all these other ways as well so just a few tips from future Erica I'm gonna head back to past Erica we're gonna wrap up this video and stay tuned for our holiday gift guide, which I think I already released uh, by the time you're seeing this video, but stay tuned for that because I am giving away one of the Laura Star irons and I also have a coupon code for you guys as well. So all that will be mentioned in the rest of the video. All right, guys, that is it for my Laura Star Lift Extra Review of the Titan. I love this machine, and I know you're going to be seeing a lot more of this in my upcoming tutorials. If you have any comments or questions about the Laura Star steam irons, please let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to get back with everybody. I also have a 10% off your purchase code for you. You can use the code Erica23 to get 10% off your purchase now. And I have a giveaway for Laura Star coming up in my 2023 holiday gift guide and giveaways video, which we'll also be releasing soon. Make sure to keep it an eye out for that one. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out when it comes out. I have a ton of amazing gifts and giveaways and gift ideas for you. So that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for joining me for this unboxing and review. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe and thumbs up. And like I said, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you next time. Cartouche anti-scale anti cartridge. Here it is with all its little accessories and the beautiful machine. Bandit be quiet. You can use code Erica23 to get 10% off your purchase. You you can use code Erica23 to get 10% off your purchase. And I have a and I have ugh, you can use coupon Eric. All right, guys, so that is it for my Laura Star Lift Extra Viv. Ah.